brothers, welcome back to Territorial.io. We are starting off today here in a 30-person free-for-all battle here in the good old Europe map. There are no full sending allowed for humans, so we have picked a spot lovely for ourselves. It's wide open up here. Africa's also pretty open. 30 players is not a lot for the Europe map, and it shows just with the amount of space we feel like we have, even though we do have somebody right above us. That might be a little bit of a shame. We also have a Drew player over to the right. Now, looking at our general vicinity, we're still in a good spot. We have a lot of free room to get. This guy down here, it might not even be playing, which would be a huge coup for us. So let's just focus in on our growth patterns, making sure to hit right away. We do want to get through these two bots, but I think we can still get down there without having to force it. And yeah, that's it's fine that we don't get that right away. We do miss a little bit of a sin there, but this guy is not playing. And if he is, he's uh, in for a very interesting strategy. I, I can't really tell, but... Yeah, he's completely out of it, so that's going to be good for us. We'll just go ahead and grab the free land that we can around us in the bot phase. Wherever we can go, we're going to go. Not necessarily a general vicinity that we're trying to push into, but we do not want to really go down here as much. We'd ra much rather push up north into the, the west. That's kind of the strategy we're going with, and so far working out pretty decently for us. This is a great bot to get. And we do have the crown. We'll see how long that holds. Let's push up into Scandinavia if we can. I don't really want to take on... 6,000 troops in order to get it. Ah, darn it. I saw you send and I got a little bit ahead of myself on that one. We'll go into Sarah and Thor, finish up those two. We'll push down here a little bit and to get just a slight bit more land, but we don't want too many more borders with people. And we're doing a good job in troops management. Uh, I do want to push up to this. Oh, I thought you had a lot less troops than you do. So we're in a bit of a precarious spot right now as we do have the crown. Oh, but we do have a great target over here. I'm going to keep saving up, waiting for this good opportunity here. Let's see if we can get a truce. Yeah, I'm going in on this guy too. Drew does give us the truce. And we're going to be able to push down this guy together with minimum troops disposed on our end. We have some more potential people to go into. Ottoman Empire is wasting a lot of troops, which is perfectly fine by me. Looks like uh, we have these two wanting to attack each other. We also have Wakanda above us. So we do need to be cautious with our troops as this is going to put us in quite the dangerous position. But again, this man can't full send us. So we, we can do this without having to worry about it. Ottoman Empire has eliminated a bot down there that was attacking him. So I imagine he's actually going to get a little bit strong as we do cut off the Drew player, limiting his options. But we can potentially push into... No, oh, I was thinking... Germany down there was a little bit weaker than he is, but we can't push into NATO. We do need to start saving after this, so let's go ahead and finish that. And we are on full save mode after this because we are in a dangerous situation. Just kidding, we're going into bot right here. That's a great little get for us. Now this will cut off Wakanda. This is a dangerous scenario for us as we've cut off most of the world from each other. I imagine these two are thinking about teaming up against me. I would love to take out the Ottoman Empire, but it's just not feasible at this time. We'll go ahead and give a truce down there and see if we can get a... I'd love to attack, but I feel like these two are going to attack me. Drew is saving up. I imagine he is going to betray me rather soon. But for the time being, we're perfectly content with where we are. We could push into Scandinavia as well. That is a weak player. But I have a sneaking suspicion as soon as we do, we're going to get attacked by these two. So just waiting to get to red interest, and then we'll kind of make a move. Ottoman Empire is looking like more and more of an appealing target. As he does have so much land, and he's actively engaged in a battle right now. So we do have 7 million. I think the wisest thing to do would be to attack one of these guys behind us. Do you want to go into this guy? What do you think? If you don't, I'm, I'm not going to do it. Let's see. Yes or no. Because I'd, I'd really like to take out somebody behind me. But again, Ottoman Empire being so weak is just too appealing of a target. So let's take out him and hope that, hope that we can hold everything as it's becoming a dangerous, dangerous situation. Somebody else is attacking the Ottoman Empire, which is great for us. We want to be slow with this as to not expend too many troops. Ottoman Empire does become a bot. Let's go ahead and rush into this and conquer all of this land. And further putting ourselves in the middle. Now we need to deal with the person behind us. So let's try and get a truce with you and a truce with you. And there's the Drew betrayal that we were waiting for. So let's start pushing into him. He's expended a lot of troops just fighting against our superior numbers. Drew does leave. He becomes a bot. Let's see if the bot will attack anybody else as Wakanda is now going to be potentially an issue himself. So I think we start to really focus in on working backwards, grabbing as much of this land and preventing the people who are going to have nobody to attack us, but us, preventing them from doing so. So next target is going to be Wakanda. 
Actually, you know what? Let's just go ahead and bank on more troops. Grab this guy really quickly. We're the only one that can get this land, and it's pretty valuable. He's got a good chunk of it, and he's sitting at max interest. And he doesn't have that many troops, but they'll be useful for our escapades. As he is attacking the United Kingdom, he does full send into the United Kingdom. So we'll quickly take him out, further increasing our strength. Looking down, there's nobody that can really challenge us independently, but there's a lot of people that can challenge us together. So we'll go ahead and grab this land, and we'll push into Wakanda. Because, again, I just don't trust him attacking me. We are getting attacked by Maxi. Oh, that's this blue player right here. Okay. He had boated over early. No harm, no foul there. Oh, he's still attacking us. Okay. Well, that's perfectly fine. Wakanda, I offer... Did I offer him a truce? Now I'm second guessing it. But we will take him out regardless as he's down. And we'll finish up Maxi up here. Who <laughs> really thought he was going to be able to attack with impunity. But alas, no longer. And we'll just go ahead and finish him off here with these couple islands. I see you. And next target is going to be the Ottomans, because they're a bot. That's an easy one. And you as well. You're very weak. You've deployed a lot of troops to get this done, so we'll just quickly wipe you off the map. And look for another target. I imagine, let's just go into Terror. Terra Sante? I think that's how you say it. Could be wrong. At this point, the game is firmly in our control, so let's take out the second strongest player that we can... T oh, that's actually this guy. But we do have a truce with him, so we'll go ahead and allow that truce to exist. He is attacking with us, which is perfectly fine. So we'll take out him, and then we'll go into uh, Elon over here, taking him out as well. Just finishing up this, we'll, we'll end the game with our buddy Rooney. Rooney's been nothing but a gentleman to us. We needed him to kind of hold the line for a little bit as we got the back lines taken care of, and he did that for us. So we'll finish up player 198, and we'll give you a heart. And a, yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll truce. We'll truce. So we'll say GG's to all involved. We'll give a kissy face for the boys and we'll wait for the piece here. And then we'll move on to the second game. So there's the piece. And there we go. So GG's to all involved. On to the next one. All right, next game up is going to be a little battle in the mountains. It's a 14 player free for all with full sending once again not allowed. I'm going to move up here. You can have that spot. Don't even care about that. I could be in the center and be just fine. There's going to be a couple people that we're going to have to fight off over here. But we can race down here, cut off the people from going up north, and then just kind of fight our way back. That's assuming we're big enough to get that done. That is a big if at this point because we haven't even secured our borders. And there's going to be a lot of people that probably want to fight us because we're going to be big and in the middle. But that's a risk we're willing to take. I have faith that we'll be able to have enough strength and troops to uh, protect ourselves as we do this. But this will be this will require a very strategic approach to the bot phase, making sure that we don't waste unnecessary troops fighting bots that have all their troops. So we'll try and be as careful as we can. It is a little bit difficult at times, and we do need to be aggressive as well to not fall behind or yield land that could be ours. As we do get a little bit more through our infinite growth phase, able to squeeze through a couple of bots. Nothing too big though, so we'll go finish up you. And you and right now there are places we need to go to but i'm just going to grow in the directions that i can with whatever bot is weak and see how well that works out for us then kind of make more of a strategic play after that so we'll get into odin right now finish up you odin please go down there we go we'll go into mod this is a great bot don't get your troops back please let's go here and here and here you are good too we do have the crown so that's good for us let's get you two Let's push up north. North is a safe bet for us. KFC is incredibly weak. They're deploying a lot of their troops into the bot phase. So that is something good for us because that wastes troops when you do that. It seems like a good strategy because you get a lot of land fast, but you don't recover as quickly as other players do. So we are able to... Let's really push into this guy over here. It looks like he's been fighting a, a battle. He doesn't have quite the troops that we do. We are able to push through these two. Finish up that. And how are we doing on troops? Decent. We could be doing better, but we do have twice as many troops as this man, so that is a big up for us. Let's wait for this one to attack something. That's good. Let's grab you. We are at 60,000, so we're moving a little bit faster. This is a great bot to get, and this bot's only going to have us to attack, so we will knock him down ever so slightly. We won't be able to finish him off. There's a big attack on us, and voila, we have managed to secure our borders ever so slightly, and we'll go ahead and finish up the blemishes as well. We do have the crown once more, but uh, this man down here is going to be an awful big challenge. I'm not going to finish up this bot right here because there's another bot. And honestly, I don't want to fight that. I'm kind of hoping that you'll cut me off so I don't have yet another ally we're going to have to fight. 
So saving up here is what's gonna be good for us. STN has eliminated the other player up there. You only have 240 troops. So this is probably our biggest person that we're gonna have to fight. So we'll get up to our maximum interest and then probably pick off this guy, this guy. Although KFC is going down rather rapidly. So let's go ahead and join in, grab as much land as we can from him. Just as a quick ups. Oh, this is a bot we missed. I thought that was a lake. So you have a truce offering. I'll accept that truce cautiously. We do have 156,000 pixels. So we're in the lead by a lot. iOS user wisely did not let me attack or let Jew have a border, but I'm gonna go ahead and push into him because he doesn't have a lot of troops and I'd rather not have a big menace on my borders. So we could take this man out quickly and get that done, further strengthening our ability to fight off the rest of the world because I imagine that everyone's going to want to attack us. So uh, this Dots over here is asking me to attack uh, the OG player. It's honestly not a bad move because he only has uh, 700,000. So now is the time to push into him, take him out, and that is a huge, huge threat off the board. We still don't have as many troops as we would like to support the land that we do have. And there is still a chance that these guys could take us out, but we do have such an advantage over the rest of the world that we can afford to sit back here, building up our troops, playing this wisely. This guy is still allied with us. So that is a, a positive. As long as that doesn't, okay, this man is left. So we'll go ahead and finish him off as well. Dots has broken his alliance with us. He says, oh, I'm so sorry. We'll go ahead and accept that and believe that he made that mistake in earnest. Everyone gets a second chance. He wants to go into this guy. We'll go ahead and do that too. Sounds like a plan. You wanna attack with us? Yeah, get in there. I don't wanna cut you off. We can do this together. This man only has 2 million troops left, but he's quite resilient and it's taking us a long time because we have such a wide border with the man. So we'll finish him off here though and then boat down into this little section of land here. Actually, I think this might be a little bit quicker. And peace out with Dots. Dots been our friend. We didn't necessarily need a friend in this, but it's always nice to make a friend. And uh, we'll quickly take out Chi Young. Uh, don't, shouldn't, don't pronounce it. It's a terror. You can't do it. Stop it thinking you can. So we'll give this man a heart. A little kissy face for the boys. And we'll look for the peace. And as we start to wrap things up, I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching. Especially if you made this far in the episode. If you have made this far in the episode, hey, you give it a thumbs up. It really helps out a lot. If you're new around here, subscribe for more. I put up videos every day. But boys... I will see you in the next one.